I got stabbed in VR and it actually hurt. This was done with electrical currents being sent to my muscles, which made them contract. Since 2017, when I first got into virtual reality, all I could think of was when will VR technology be better, more immersive, more realistic. I wanted the Ready Player One experience. And now the future is actually here. After posting my last video about all the VR technology I got to try at CES, it seems that no technology is more polarizing than this VR sensation vest. I got to use this vest, so let's talk about this and see if this is something that you'd want to get. But before we dive in, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love on my last video. We finally hit YouTube partner. I'm doing a VR game codes giveaway for the next week. So keep an eye on my YouTube community tab so that you can join those. Now back to the vest. The OO vest can be pre-ordered for $450. This uses a similar technology to a TENS machine, which is used in sports and medicine recovery. With a TENS machine, you have these silicone pads that you attach to a certain part of your body to activate that muscle. With the OO vest, those silicone pads are attached to TENS zones inside the vest for your chest, abs, biceps, lumbar, and lower back. The vest is extremely breathable and lightweight. Battery lasts up to eight hours and is rechargeable. It can be used for both VR or two-day gaming, such as Rocket League, Fortnite, League of Legends, and Valorant. The vest connects to your phone via Bluetooth, and then your phone connects to your headset through Wi-Fi. This means that this vest can work with any headset as long as the game you're playing is compatible with the vest. And the vest is washable as long as you remove the electrical components before putting in the wash. Now, I didn't try removing the electrical components. I don't know how hard or easy this will be to do. When using this vest, the most amazing part was how tiny and precise the sensation could be. For example, during the demo I played, I could feel with great precision a bullet hitting me from somewhere in the front of my body and exiting out the back. I was also able to feel a bunch of like tiny bug bites all over my chest with really great precision. Now this is extremely different from the B Haptics vest for example, which honestly it feels like a massage because the B Haptics vest uses vibration motors, different areas of your body. And so the vibration will go through like a larger part of your body. And by the way, I do still plan to do a B Haptics vest review in one of my upcoming videos. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. But the real question is, what does the O vest actually feel like? I mean, can you really feel pain? Well, when I first put on the vest, I had to go through this five minute calibration phase. And during the calibration, you trigger a different sensation in each zone of your body. And you set the intensity between zero and 80. For me, the highest I ever went was about 25. So at lower settings, I couldn't even feel anything. Maybe at lighter settings, it was, it felt like a poke or a light touch. And then once we got to the medium settings, it actually felt kind of like B haptics. It was like a vibration feeling, although this isn't a vibration, you're sending electrical currents rather than like having a vibration motor. And then once we got to higher settings, it started to hurt. I mean, the technology in this is actually making your muscles contract. So if you think about it at higher settings, it feels like when you get a muscle cramp when you're working out. But once I put on the headset and tried the VR wave shooter demo, like that's when the real magic happened. I mean, the immersion was insane. When my eyes could actually see what was happening, the vest felt even more realistic. I mean, I could actually feel on specific points in my body where the bullets were hitting. And honestly, it was pretty overwhelming because I was like feeling a constant barrage of bullets at coming at me. And I really felt like I was in a high stress situation. I mean, I wanted to avoid getting hit. So when I posted about this for the first time, I got so many comments from people saying things like, what's wrong with people? And why would you want to feel pain in VR? That's the thing. This vest isn't just about feeling pain. There's other sensations it can replicate. For example, I was able to feel like the recoil from shooting my gun, or when I was holding my shield and there were bullets hitting my shield, I could feel the knockback from that. So the whole thing is extremely fascinating and I definitely want to get more time with this vest before I can talk about it more. So hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one soon. Now if you're interested in this vest, there are a few things you need to consider before buying one. 
The first thing is there is six different sizes. This can be a little problematic. So for me, for example, I have a really short torso, but I'm a medium size. And so when I put on the medium shirt, it was actually wrinkling in certain parts. So that means that the pads weren't making good contact with my skin. There are parts of the calibration phase where I wasn't able to feel anything and we really had to adjust the shirt so that the pads were sticking to me properly. And what this means for women is that you probably can't wear any undergarments under the vest. Otherwise, it might not work as intended. This also means you probably will not be able to share this vest with other people because it's more than likely you're going to be a different size from that person. However, if you are able to fit into the same vest as someone else, you can make customizable profiles on the vest through the app so you can set the intensity of the different zones to your profile. And then another thing to note is that right now there is a limited number of games that's actually compatible with this at the moment so even if you were to get it now there might not be a whole lot that you can play it with but you can look at all the games on their website and they update that regularly so they are taking pre-orders now and they are targeting a ship date of october this year so at 450 dollars is this vest worth getting I'm going to say I think so. I mean, the amount of immersion that you get from this is unbelievable. This is the future of VR and it's going to be wild. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much to my Patreons for all your support.